I'm Dave. I'm Steven. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to the episode of DJ Projects. It's a Wednesday special. So, why I've got you before I tell you what's going to be happening on this Wednesday before Steven gets run over by <laughs> the uh, not the fencing boys. <laughs> Let's have a light goal. You smashed that light goal like the park, yeah. man. I did really check, yeah. Chance. Did have a look, yeah. So, smashed it. Up in thousands. Yeah. 4,000 in 24 hours. It's an easy one, guys. You got yeah. this. That's if you it. had 3,000, you can definitely do it. Definitely do that. Definitely. So, what do are we it. on today? We are back on James's job. We are going to get some levels put in today, me and Finbar. Me and Finbar, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Me and Finbar are. Finbar are. It doesn't sound right, does it? His name's actually Finnebar as well. <laughs> so, yeah, so it actually lines yeah. up. So me and Finnebar are going to put some levels in at James's job. We're taking the roller. I don't know if we do need a bigger roller, you know. Ooh. Yeah. And if we do, we're going to have to sit down. Yeah, probably sit down one. But we'll get see how this compacts it. If you don't compact it enough, we'll go on a higher one. But you know what happens then? Once you get a higher one, we end up buying one. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, We're doing that. Stevie's on a nice little fencing sort of yep. thing. Something a little bit different. We give this customer three options. Total rip out, these existing posts, and there was a concrete, concrete. and full panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And picking panels. But yeah, Stevie will explain that when he gets there. That's a lovely install. Just bear in mind we are using existing posts. Yeah. Because they go for that option. We could have ripped them out and started fresh. Yeah, but, we did give them an option. But, obviously. Option, but obviously, they went for this option. Obviously, budget is a big player in people's decisions. Of course. Especially in this climate. So, yeah, he'll show you that. Me and Finn by there. Lads are smashing it out on the concrete side. Ant and Scott and Jordan. Jordan's on deliveries first, though. Jamie's smashing his gates out as always, and the girls smash out in the office. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get to it. You'll see Dad first, and then you'll come to us after. See you on side. As you can see, we've made a start. We are here. We are definitely here. Gas pipe is in. Just putting a bit of sand on the gas pipe. Now, nah, what the plan is, now that gas pipe's in, we can use the crushed, get some levels back to where we need to be. It's definitely going to be 100 mil all the way around the house because the levels where they were before. It was a lot higher before, but we brought it down a little bit. But definitely 100 mil gravel all the way around the perimeter of the whole drive, just to break the drive up as well and work as a bit of drainage. Uh, just make sure we don't bridge the damp course when water hits it. But Finn is just putting the sand on now. Sunny's ready to go. I'm going to start dumping the hardcore in there and getting some levels back and getting some nice smooth lines. We've got the roller. We're going to get a good roll and get to a stage where we can start blocking. Taking shape. So we've just got this bit along here, just get a bit more sand to put on the gas pipe. We can fill this bit in down here now. But yeah, it's taking shape now. So Ed Finbar's got all the levels right over there. It's all filled in, so what we're gonna do now, we just filled another dumper full. James brought us a couple of cobs, hadn't he mate? Yeah. Yeah boy. So after we've had a quick bite to eat, we're going to put a string line from the corner of the house right up to the entrance, then see what the levels are like. And then we'll do another string line across the front of the house, so we know that's level. And then we'll do one from there, from that string line, all the way up. And we're going to work that bit first, and then we'll work across. We've still got a fair bit of stone. So hopefully, we won't be dragging that much stone back in here. All that fencing is a six inch gravel board all the way underneath it. That's another job as well. So 
So we've got lines up now. So we've got two lines going straight up. It's not a million miles away, to be fair. Say we've done it by eye. So what we're going to do, just bring a bit down and feather it in. I'm going to put my grading beam on. And I'm just going to grade it with a machine. And then Finn's going to just go along with a rake and fine tune it. Well, that's what we're up to now. Piles down, Finn's been doing that. As you've seen, I've just loaded them up with a dumper. Now it's time, I'm just going to knock it about a little bit, get it near enough level, and then we'll put the grading beam back on again. quite good now what we're going to do is just get a quick roll this section all the way down to here and then we're going to put some more hardcore in the dumper and finish that section up there hasn't been done yet we're going to just carry on doing the top bit and then we could probably run vehicles in to get them off the road so we'll finish doing that last bit i think times 20 to 4 so i think we'll just get that done on i do believe quite get what we wanted to get done we just leveled it off just for tonight we've got that last section there to do tomorrow i believe we are putting six inch gravel boards in tomorrow but me and finn's done here now for another day why don't you go and catch up with steve so hello guys very very windy another storm's hit us sorry if it's a bit too windy on camera <coughs> yeah oh look how windy it is we'll start up here i'll show you what we're doing that's coming down all of this fencing on the front is coming down it's having double-sided picket install reusing concrete posts a bit like the same style they've got now obviously pickets up and down but timbers on posts where needed might do it singular might do it double yeah this is this is what we're replacing, guys. It's not in the worst nick as it is, but... Yeah. It does look pretty good. I'm not sure we'll be able to bend a 4x2 timber around like that, though. We'll have to go from point to point, of course. 
because obviously we've gone for thicker wood for the style that we're going for and we're using pickets these pickets pretty cool lollipops All of the posts, bar one, are not too bad. Not the worst. It's not in the straightest line. But again, we've been asked to use these, this bad boy here. I think we need a new post in there, guys. Look at it. Crumble City, that is. Crumble City. But everything else seems, you know what, guys, not the worst. This one here, a bit screw with, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. But putting the timber on can be a little bit screw with. It's the fence that you're gonna look at. A bit like that camp rail fence that we did at Christmas time, if anyone remembers. Yeah, we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. So guys, because it's window but two, two, gonna be two there as well. Had to do two, reason being look that beam can only reach halfway, which ain't the worst because I've got to put a beam that side anyway, but if I was to push that up to the end, I wouldn't touch any of this one here. So it's a shame really, but yeah. Got, because me and, me and Dad spoke about, I couldn't get my words out, sorry. Me and Dad spoke about just putting one on, but I can't because then I've still got to put one on the opposite side, like here, for example, this one here, if I only had one on here, for example, say there, I still need one here for the next beam because that's got to be half and then another beam's got to be halfway up to it to get to the next. It's, uh, it's a bit of a shame that is, but it's what it is, guys. But this is what we're doing, bowling it up. If we feel like they need chopping off at the end, we will do, but yeah, looking good. It's a shame to go all like that, but what can you do, right? Being a terrible YouTuber today, and do apologise. It's just been one of them jobs, really, and it's been windy. It's been very annoying. Um, run out of bolts, so we can't do the bolts for this side here. Uh, what else we going to run out of the, the timbers for the bottoms? But well, obviously, we're coming back. It just look pretty good. So a decent straight line. As you can see, we've manipulated the post where we can, like this one, look. Gone past it where we can, but still plenty of meat in the bolt, same as this one. And then the next one, it's a little bit the opposite way. But it ain't looking too bad. To say what we were working with, the, with the snake that was there, me and Mason have smashed that, I would say. It's just not, it's just nothing we can do now. Nothing we can do. It's a shame. It's all taken down up there. It's all there, guys. Oh, monster munch, roast, roast beef monster munch. Let's keep us going. Not had lunch today. Gonna tuck into a sandwich now, and we'll film more tomorrow. I promise you. See you tomorrow, guys. So, good morning. You should know where we are today. Come on, James. What are we doing today? I've got my good friend Lucky with me today. He's coming to give us a hand. We're putting six inch gravel boards all the way up there because if you remember, there was soil there built up. So there was a soil 
planter bed as such, weed bed, whatever you want to call it. That was all the way up. So now in turn, these six inch gravel boards, we'll lift the, the panels back up and look absolutely splendid all the way down. And then we can get our driveway blocks in without no problems and retaining and soil that side. That's what Lucky's going to be doing today with Finn. I'm going to be carrying on getting levels put back in and rolling and sorting all this out down here. I brought some pegs for James as well. James is going to put pegs where he wants the lights. So where we want cables yeah there's going to be a lot happening we've got to try and get that roadstone over there onto here but it's raining and it's boggy and we're about to have another storm i can't see it myself but it's meant to be another storm coming so yeah it's get machines ready get everyone set up and we'll be cracking on Guys, that's what we are doing. It's gonna look good when it's done. Just get that level in. We are shifting the stone over there. The weather is terrible today. Absolutely terrible. It's just making everything bog air, everything wet. But we will not be defeated at DJ projects. We are cracking on. Things getting some nice piles up there. And then I think we're gonna dump the rest just over here somewhere. I haven't really filmed much because the weather is atrocious. We've managed to get in all the way up to here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to do. Can't really get any more of that. Oh, I'll have to wipe it off. Of that because the dump is just getting bogged down. So the plan is we're just going to crack on with these. Get this done, level this off, and then see what time it is. Because it's just it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. It's starting to get really windy as well. So then we have put all six inch all the way down. We've got a bit more levels put in. We have got all that stoned up, just ready to be rolled. Got some ducting to put in tomorrow some drainage at the bottom to put in nearly i just got that little tiny bit of stone over there and then we're gonna have to start bringing stone in but yeah it's getting there guys it is big you don't realize how big it is until all this stone's in but that is another day at d and j we'll see you in the morning guys hello hello, hello. if you can't tell it's a wet one. But this is what we've been doing. So, we left you with this yesterday. But look at it. We've gone all the way around now. Huh? Got to obviously cut the tops of the noggins off, so don't worry about that. Just gonna get them flush with the rails. Get them nice and neat. But yeah. Come all the way around. Yes, that post is leaning, but you're never going to see it because obviously it's going to be pickets. And we are using old posts, remember. Not as windy today, but chucking it down. Kickboard both sides because double-sided, off-centre to each other. Yeah. I'm quite happy with what we've been able to do using these existing posts. Had to do it 50 pence piece style round. Looking good, guys. If we do say so ourselves. But we've got that side up there now. Not got enough rails, so need to get some more rails. Um, 
Yeah. It's looking good though. Just a shame about the weather. So we've got a timber on the wall, couple timbers on posts, couple timbers on posts. This one has obviously got to go across, slight angle across and down again. Yeah, so it's sort of figuring out what we're doing here with this one now, guys. So after a bit of looking, this post isn't even doing anything. Look. It's not even touching. And that feels solid. Anyone knows like old council posts, you know they're solid. So I'm thinking, because it's not touching, can you see just here? Just get rid of it, look. It's not doing anything. Get it out of the way. Because, only reason because, I'll say again, working in line, best we can, which is not too bad there. But I can't put one here. I can't really go there. Well, I can, but look at it. Oh. Let's just get rid of this. Timbers are on, and timber on this side as well. So this one will still be at the same height running across, but the, the bolt hole already went up and the last timber went up. So that's what we've done. But bolts in these as well, they look long now, but you're never going to see these. Obviously the timber's going to be up above. So again, don't worry about that. Those ones will be getting cut, but these ones won't be getting cut. But yeah, now it's rails guys. So we'll crack on with rails. Me loving, I need your loving. Cause I'm drowning in something and I can't come out. Just show me loving, I need loving. Me myself in love. It's like being a dog to a crushing heart. I want you to know how bad it hurts. Because this is double sided, I'm trying to match up. The pickets. Um, that's a little bit challenging. He's trying to take a measurement, but the grounds aren't even, so a little bit challenging. But we're going to see how it's going to turn out, of course. Just got another bit to cut there, and then it's just that little bit, that little bit, and then yeah, pretty much rails done. So we've just screwed a few uh, pickets on and then chucked a little level across the top of them to make sure that our rails are relatively evened out both sides. Haven't done it on this side, but yeah, happy with how they're looking. They're not necessarily level, the pickets, but they're leveled across the top, not necessarily side to side. But yeah, it's gonna look good. But guys, to see this one completed, you're definitely gonna have to come back on Sunday me and mason have done pretty much for the day thank you for clicking on the video weather's been terrible for filming but I feel like we've got somewhere in the end so yeah that's the last you'll see from us in this video we'll see you in the next one